Hello, my friends. Welcome back to another musical moment in the life of the old-time rock and roller. Today, we will be focusing a few minutes on a story from the golden age of rock and roll. Are you ready? Okay, let's get started. In my opinion, the Rolling Stones with Mick Taylor on guitar at the Boston Garden in 1969 was the peak of perfection for the Stones. Now they had Terry Reed and the great B.B. King opening up for them. And the crowd was really ready for the Midnight Rambler, Honky Tonk Woman, Satisfaction, Wild Horses, all of the Stones' great hits were just pouring out of the stage that night. But Mick Taylor, who had cut his teeth with John Mayall in the Blues Breakers, was always just bubbling under Clapton and Beck and Page. Mick Taylor and Peter Green, two of the finest blues players from England, were vastly underrated. But when Mick got his chance to play with the Stones, man, he did not disappoint. He was so good. In fact, he made Keith Richards look so bad, they had to dismiss him from the band, and they pulled in Ronnie Wood. It was disappointing, really, because to me, Keith Richards was a hack on guitar, and they really needed a guy like Mick Taylor. But Mick Jagger was at his peak. He had that horseshoe shirt on and the, the Uncle Sam top hat on. And he made that joke. Oh, a button on my trousers have come off. Y'all don't want my trousers to fall down now, do you? Everybody laughed, but nobody really wanted his trousers to fall down. But it was a fabulous show before they were tainted by the Altamont experience and other personal issues that the band had. But 1969, November, the Boston Garden, the Rolling Stones was a concert that to me was the apex of their sound. Never one to forget. It was a great show. Thanks for coming along on this little music moment with me. Hope you're enjoying yourself, and I will see you next time on the next musical moment. In the meantime, keep love in your heart, a song in your head, like and subscribe to keep me going, my friends, so I can keep bringing you these great stories of the history of rock and roll. So long, my friends.